The Plateau State House of Assembly has expressed worry over President Muhammadu Buhari's continued silence over the recent killings in the state, saying the same presidency that spoke same day Muslim commuters were recently attacked in Jos has now lost its voice days after a Christian community of Yewa Zangam was attacked and over 35 persons massacred in their homes. The assembly said it had expected the president to condemn the ki recent killings with the same urgency and zeal it did when the Muslim travelers were attacked. It also gave Governor Simon Lanlong two weeks to take decisive action on the incessant attacks and killings in the communities in the state. Addressing a world press conference in Jos, the assembly also called on the people of Plato to rise up and defend themselves and their communities as the conventional security design seemed to have shown ineptitude to do so and can no longer guarantee the safety of the people. Chairman House Committee Information Honorable Peter Dasun, who spoke on behalf of the House, said the killings were unacceptable. He commended the youth for publicly displaying the corpse of the victims at the State House of Assembly in order to send a strong message to the government that it was not doing enough to protect the citizens. We we'll commend the youth on the plateau for sustained, coordinated and organized campaigns against the killings and as well as the courage to make it go viral by sending strong messages to the world using the dead bodies of the mayhem on the social media and the streets of Joss. The display of the corpses in the House of the Assembly is a sign that they recognize the authority of the House as an institution that can speak for the people. We greatly appreciate that action. As an Assembly, with the people at the heart, we call on Plato State citizens to have confidence in us with renewed commitment as we have given two weeks to the Governor to take action on the resolutions the House had forwarded on security matters and how to restore peace. We strongly call on Play Two people to practically stand up and defend themselves and their communities as the conventional security design is no longer guaranteeing our safety as a people. We call on the Executive Governor of Play Two State, Right Honorable Simon Bakola Long, to come up with a statement defending us as a people and to bring back renewed commitment to the cause of Play Two. We are still expecting, with high hopes, the President to also come up with a statement about the killings in Yewa Zangam, just as he did in the killings of travelers along Rakuba Road, and also to indicate a sign of justice, or we will see him as being reflexive about the conflicts in Plato. The state lawmakers said they were committed to the yearnings and aspirations of Plato people. We deeply appreciate the calls made by the Plato people both at home and in diaspora for encouragement and asking us to do the needful in order to save Plato and its heritage. We also wish to put our records that we stand with Plato people in this trying moment and assure them of our genuine commitment to the cause of Plato State. Calling on traditional rulers to look inward and release local security design to protect Plato people as well as reinforce the vigilante, hunters and local wise men to defend the people, the House said it had directed all local government chairmen to suspend their planned recruitment of ad hoc teachers and instead recruit 200 vigilante personnel in each local government area to boost and augment local intelligence gathering. Security operatives are called upon to fish out the perpetrators of the mayhem and be punished according to the law. This just killing is truly, truly a sad one that has thrown the whole community into mourning, serious mourning. And the House of Assembly, uh, um, they are uh, really, really berating President Muhammad Buhari for his silence, his continued silence. This same Buhari, um, he was the same person who reacted swiftly when Muslim travelers were killed. He spoke immediately. But um, Christian, 35 persons were killed just a day after in a Christian community of Yewa in Zanga. Over 35 persons killed. President Muhammad Buhari has kept silent. We see that this man, he's not even interested in other ethnicity or other religions. His plan is to Islamize the country. All of his actions, they are all adding up. See all he's doing. He's not just a president for the Muslim. He's president for the whole country. 
so if anything is happening to any um, region or any religion he should be able to he should speak in his capacity and the office that he occupies the um, plato's house of assembly they are they are telling him that your silence is worrying very very worrying what is your mission what is your goal what are you up to what is your plan do you want all christians to be totally wiped out this is what uh, um, bishop kuka talked about when he testified against president muhammad buhari at the, uh, at the u.s congress president buhari's uh, uh, actions and everything he does to the christian communities not protecting christian community the genocide the killings and everything this was what um, he testified against president muhammad buhari at the u.s congress see what he's doing now so unfortunate very very unfortunate anyways the plateau house of assembly they really appreciated the people the residents of just that wow that they did very well what they did was that the dead bodies of these 35 persons they took them straight to the house of assembly they left them there that um, since you guys can't do anything let these dead bodies be with you maybe to uh, uh, pull you together and it was a, as a result of that action that the house of assembly is even speaking right now who knows maybe they wouldn't have said anything but that is now they are speaking calling on president muhammad buhari and even calling on the state governor they've given him two weeks two weeks ultimatum to fix the situation to put things in place because clearly clearly it looks like um, the security architecture in that state it's not working how 35 persons were killed all of a sudden very very worrying well nigerians have started reacting someone says here that a man who talks for talking's sake does not remember or keeps denying what he said even when you produce of him doing so is not worthy of anything that is the evil man's characterization of this man. He's a low-level liar. He claims integrity, which is the farthest thing from him. Buhari just talk for talking's sake. We can see very well that um, he doesn't really, he doesn't have any sympathy, no sympathy for the people. Another one says, I'm so surprised that you people are just seeing what the average evil man saw years ago about this man. We know bad markets once we see one. If he is gold or silver, no Igbo man would buy him for a kobo, no matter the quantity. This Buhari is bad news to the country. He's caused so much pain. And the blood of the, the blood of these innocent citizens that are being shed on a daily basis, they are heaping on his head, forever heaping on his head. Well, guys, let's hear your own take. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Click on the like button. If it's your first time, please hit on the subscribe button. God bless you. Till I come your way again with more updates. Bye.